COVID is not the only virus to cause stuffy, runny noses, coughs, and sore throats. And here to tell us more about the RSV virus and help identify when your toddler or child may be in danger is nurse Christina Paris from the VA. Good morning. Hi, good How morning. are you? It's and so good, good morning to, to you. you. <laughs> we have someone new here. Yes. So exciting. Yes. <laughs> well, um, so COVID has not just affected our lives, of course, but it has caused other viruses to kind of go, you know, just a way that we don't really pay attention to it so much. So what is RSV? Right, so RSV is the respiratory syncytial virus mm -hmm. and it's named for its sort of um, synced uh, rhythmic grunting that can occur uh, with the virus. Um, when we think about colds and there's all kinds of stuff, we're getting calls all the time and it's really difficult for any of us to really discern exactly what virus people have. But um, when you're thinking of a cold, that's usually upper respiratory. So you're thinking in the nose mm -hmm. um, and, and you know, that post nasal drip and stuff that we get. But when we're thinking about RSV, um, that's more of a lower. Um, pneumonia too is a lower respiratory infection. So that's kind of what we're thinking about when we hear those terms. Okay. And what are common symptoms and when should we be concerned? So the symptoms are pretty similar. So you're going to have that stuffy, runny nose, the mild cough, fever, um, decreased appetite. You might be breathing faster than normal, maybe some wheezing, and a severe cough. That's mm -hmm. kind of a big trigger that it's something different. Um, and again, we get coughs with the pneumonia too, with that lower. Right. But now it can be really serious. Um, if, of course, your child um, stops breathing or has blue lips or gums or is just really having a hard time or grunting, um, it's one of the things that you can look for is um, the muscles in between your child's ribs. Now, if they start to kind of cave in um, or their nostrils start to flare, that's a sign that, that they're really struggling to breathe and you really want to get them to the ER immediately. Um, also, if they're having fevers, you know, really significantly high fevers um, anything you know anything greater than 100.4 is what we kind of consider to be a fever right. um, people will say well I, I had a low-grade fever of 99 but you can kind of be 99 just by putting a coat on you know right. can warm your body so right. we really look for over a hundred that's oh, really good to know yeah, yeah that sounds really awful with the kids just you, you're noticing that if they're caving in in their ribs like right that, I, I didn't even think about something it looks like kind of like an upside down V oh. that's how you can really tell and their their nose their noses uh, nasals will flare too wow. when they're really struggling because they're nose breathers. That's really crazy. Yeah. So what are some like preventative measures that people could take and options for treatment? So of course we want to you know can continue with the things that we're doing now. Mm -hmm. So washing your hands, um, making sure you cover your mouth when you cough. You know cover into uh, your sleeve or wear your mask when you're out in public. Those are all still really good things. You can use humidifiers if they do have. RSV, I um, mean, it does turn to pneumonia. Pneumonia is bacterial, so we can give antibiotics for oh, that. That's good to know. Um, but just treating symptoms, again, you know, yeah, keeping humidifiers, taking baby in and out of the shower can kind of help. That also is good for like croup. So anytime they have bad respiratory coughs and are struggling, um, and then go see your provider for sure. Because it's RSV can be very serious and it's yeah. very contagious. Yeah. It can run through schools <laughs> really yeah. quick, yeah. similar to. COVID and colds and the other things we see. Wow. So. Well, that's really terrifying. But thank you so much for giving us tips to, to look Absolutely. out for and for parents to be on the lookout for. And we hope you have a good day. Thank you. All you right. too. Thanks.